looking at how to run online payments within Private Fund Manager. These are zero fee, zero charge online payments that utilise the online banking system provided by all the high street banks, Barclays, Lloyds, etc. It involves you telling the parent they're able to pay through online banking and providing them with the necessary details to enable Private Fund Manager to automatically recognise and understand when they make a payment. So all we need to do is ensure that we send out to parents a letter or email that specifies the school sort code, account number and bank account information. So on here I'm setting up a new trip that I'm going to use our online payment system for called it Ski 2015 and I've specified or chosen the four pupils who on this occasion I wish to um, invite to make their payments. To send them an email letter I go into Screen Inquiries, Pupil Reports and a new button called Emails and Letters. You can write as many letters as you like and save them. Here's one I've written already for the ski trip. As you can see it's specifying to the parent when the instalments are due and telling them how to make internet payments. It's very much like a, ma a mail merge letter. You use the hash codes down the left hand side to insert relevant fields where you would like them in your email or letter. And so as you can see there's a parent name hashtag that's puts in the appropriate parent name, a student name and other details as to how much they've paid, not paid and so on. It's picking up all this information through the automatic link with SIMS including the parent's email address. An important one here as you can see is the bank account sort code but most importantly the student's unique payment code and that will identify the student automatically into the system. If the parent gets it wrong, it's not the end of the world, but it will be an automatic recognition if they get it correct, which is why I've written in the letter it's very important that you put the right reference in. It's in their interest therefore to get that right. So we write this letter or email, um, goes out to the parents telling them how to pay. If you prefer the letter option, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, there's a little button that says create, but directly above it, it says all letters, and that option instead of writing emails will create printed letters with the information on. The parent then makes their payment having received this information through their online banking system, whatever it is they use, Lloyd Barclays, etc. So they of course do need to have online or mobile banking through their telephone. Once they've been told the sort code, bank account and reference, they can make that payment. Here I am on a Santander account as you can see, very simply setting up a new payment choosing the option to pay a new person. This is the same with all banks. And as you can see, we can put in a sort code, account number, and every banking system uses this concept of a payment reference, which is where you, they put in the very specific, unique code that identifies their pupil. Here we put in the amount we're paying, £25, £250, whatever, and that will automatically be paid to the school. And in addition to the details of who's paid, when, how much, it will specify this payment reference, which Private Fund Manager will then use to identify automatically who's paid. So you as a school then, on a daily basis, will just um, do a little read. You will take an automatic read of your bank. You'll need to have online banking so you can have electronic statements. And all you do is go into transaction entry receipts. But we have the last but one tab which is direct receipts. And as you can see there's a new button on the left called read bank statements. It will look at the bank statements, see who has paid, which ones we haven't yet seen. So all the new transactions. It will come up and say to us, Either there are no new ones or on this occasion there are eight new entries. Six of them are accepted. It knows straight off who six of them are from and what it's for. One's rejected and one's pending, suggesting that we do have two that need a little look to see if they are parents who've just got the coding wrong. 
So we say yes, we'll take a look. We go onto a screen which shows the probables, the people who it kind of thinks it knows who it is. As you can see, there's one entry when we click on it. It tells us it knows what the, the payment is for. It's for school fund donation, top on the left there. It knows two thirds of the information about the student indicates that it's called somebody called Sam Riddington. It's the final bit of the code this parent happens to have got wrong. But that's fine. We can say, yeah, actually, it pretty obviously is Sam Riddington, and we can simply accept this payment from Sam Riddington for the school fund donation account. Once we've done this once, even if the parent gets the code wrong next time, it's not a problem. The system will now know who this payment is from and what it's for, even though the code itself is faulty. And we repeat that operation if any parents are inaccurate with their special unique reference code. Once they're all on the screen, these are all the new entries that have come in through online banking, we simply bank the items and save them onto the system. Those entries are now on. Everything that was paid yesterday through online banking has automatically been written into the system in the right place, the right trip, the right student, the right amount and the right date. And that is a zero fee, zero cost form of online banking. Thank you.